as we think of the 4th of July and this idea that this is when we celebrate the freedom that we created as a country, there is also a stark reality of the truth of what's going on in the social constructs and the political backdrop of our, our country, but also really everywhere around the globe right now. There is a recent uprising of the heart that is happening in our country, and it's bringing centuries of suppression and oppression to the surface. So I don't dismiss the joy that we feel or may feel as a country around our own ideas of liberation and freedom. But in truth, the liberation and freedom that we hold so dear doesn't really exist for a huge portion of our population. And at a spiritual and energetic level, it may not exist in many of us, no matter the color of our skin or our privilege. So the blog post Interdependence Day also has a huge layer to it around what is freedom and how can I claim more freedom inside of my body and field so that I can be the change that I want to see the world and claim freedom for others and be an activist at that deeper level of seeing energetic freedom as the root of all freedom. We recently posted our latest sound alchemy and it is also titled Freedom and it's this idea that the vibration of that sound alchemy, the the medicine that we hold inside of the gongs and the bowls and the singing and the various instruments, it is channeled and connecting with that energy of freedom that is our true inheritance as beings. And so that frequency of the sound alchemy lifts you into a state of your true self where you can access that freedom. I'm going to read a section from the blog to kind of invite you into that state. The first step towards freedom is to understand that you are a creator in your life. You create with vibrational resonance. You are in vibratory accord with everything you see. Accord or accord like playing a piano or guitar. Words, thoughts, and perception all have the power to claim something into manifestation. It could not be there without all of us in agreement, individually or collectively. If you call a man stupid, you have made him so. If you call a woman ugly, you have made her so. If you call certain people evil, you have made them so. When you decide something is worthy, you have made that thing worthy. It is as if your personality or small self holds directives every minute of every day and voila, you have a shared construct. Most of us call that reality without any question or thought otherwise. Our life is built walking around on this earth, thinking our beliefs about the world around us and deciding what will be and what is real based on the data that we have inherited unconsciously. Your true self sees that man you called stupid as holding intelligence you may not understand and perceives that woman you call ugly as beautiful. Your soulful self sees beyond fear and sees that the people you thought were evil hold inherent good that seeks to be realized. What I am talking about here is the realization of the divine in all things. And the blog goes on about how we can really activate and access a newer awareness of freedom so that we can move towards interdependence in our lives. So I encourage you to go and read that blog or if you prefer listening, I did put a recording of the blog being read by me. So you can also just listen to the audio file on the blog post. This week, Step into a state of freedom. The one of the simplest, most basic methods is to claim, I am free, I am free, I am free. That is your soulful self and divine self talking and the rest of you can slowly catch up to the truth of those statements. 
claim your freedom this week. Step into the frequency of the truth that there is divinity in all things so that you can see more of the world and you can participate more fully in it. You can participate in the full moon rising. You can participate in the breeze touching your skin.